What is going on guys, FaZe Rockstar here, and this video I'm going to be giving my first impression of Ghost. Uh, just what I think about it, what I think is going to happen with it, just what I'm happy with, what I'm not happy with, all that stuff. You guys know the deal when it comes to first impressions. So, uh, to start off with, you know, the whole game as a whole, I'm very pleased with how it's turned out. Uh, all the guns are fun to use, especially the snipers. The snipers are really, really fun to use. And uh, to be honest, I thought that the sniping was going to be really, really bad. Like, uh, just watching... Uh, gameplay from before the game was actually released and before people started playing it and I started seeing more and more clips uh, you know sniper clips from people that had the game early stuff like that uh, I honestly thought the, that the sniping was gonna suck especially uh, with the dual render scope I didn't know how that was gonna work but uh, you know the first day playing the game first time sniping I was really surprised like it was not what I expected uh, at all and to be honest I think this game really has the potential to be uh, you know one of the better you know games for like montages snipers stuff like that as long as they don't screw with it as long as they don't pull a tray arc and screw with the snipers they just keep everything the same uh, sniping wise I think this game is going to definitely be uh, you know one of the best Call of Duties for sniping and possibly for competitive play as well because right now everyone knows ARs are definitely dominating the game so it's really gonna be interesting to see uh, who and what team is able to come out on top when competitive stuff is announced what's going to be played all that uh, Because right now I'm not sure exactly what game types they will throw into competitive play uh, Because everything you know they took out pretty much all the competitive stuff that uh, Black Ops 2 had and Black Ops 2 was really successful competitive wise So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what they actually use uh, in the you know MLG type of stuff uh, for this game because you know, there's no uh, what is it called? What is it called? Hardpoint. There it is. I was. That's what I'm looking for. There's no hardpoint. There's no capture the flag, and that's two of the, out of the three game types that were actually used for uh, competitive play. So it's re it's really going to be fun to see what they actually decide uh, to use for competitive play, and whether or not they decide to you know increase the health, anything like that for competitive play. I'm just really eager to see what they're actually going to announce with that. But uh, you know, as for stuff that I am kind of not happy with not pleased with one uh, definitely with how fast you die but uh, you know you can't really do anything about that you never you never know they may update it they may not but I uh, just learned to live with it not too much of a big deal for me but uh, another thing is definitely the map size I mean these maps are honestly huge and I know right now uh, you know there's no ground war it's all 6v6 and I can see some of these maps working uh, with a 9v9 you know game mode uh, like a ground war all of that stuff but for 6v6 some of these maps it honestly is there's no possible way uh, you're gonna be able to hit a clip unless you get lucky and you find a group of people uh, bundled up in a spot but otherwise they're gonna be really spread out and it's gonna be really really uh, you know hard or a little harder to actually hit a clip uh, on some of these bigger maps in certain spots but uh, I'm ready uh, for the Xbox one to see uh, you know how ground war is going to work because if you guys did not know uh, there was something uh, found in like the text file on the game uh, that suggested that crown or that ground war was was actually on the game disc or will be in the game when uh, the Xbox one comes out but uh, I'll link you to another video explaining all that because I'm not really sure um, what the actual you know what the deal is with that but I'll link you guys if you want to check it out but uh other than that, other than the map size and dying super quick, I am very, very pleased with this game. But there are uh, a few maps that like are honestly just horrible. And I'm just going to scroll through on my screen right here and go through uh, the ones that I like, the ones that I don't like. And, uh, you know, I could say my top maps that I am, you know, enjoy, that I enjoy playing. Uh, Strike Zone, I love that map. It's smaller. Uh, it's really, you know, there's a lot of clip opportunities there. Flooded is fun. Uh, you know, it's kind of smaller as well, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of spots you can actually hit a clip there. Uh, let's keep going through here. Warhawk, that is a really sick map. Uh, once again, it's smaller. I usually go for the smaller maps in any Call of Duty, but this, these are definitely better compared to the map sizes uh, in this game. Let's keep going through. Uh, Stormfront, which is actually this map that I'm playing on, if you guys didn't know. Uh, this map is actually fun to play, even though it is huge, but, you know, there's still, uh, you have the opportunity to actually hit some clips, and, uh, Fright, Freight, what am I saying, Freight is another sick map, and 
the ones the rest are okay but there's a few that just are absolutely horrible and uh, Chasm is one of those I could I honestly hate Chasm I back out every time I get it and Siege uh, is another one that I absolutely hate but um other than that this game is pretty awesome I'm really enjoying it really happy with it so far and I'm definitely uh, you know looking to uh, grow my channel as much as possible on this game but that is it pretty much for my first impression hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I will talk to you again very soon